Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and today I have these new Pokemon Sword and Shield packs to open up. Now, of course, I'm going to be weighing these packs before I open them up because I want to get the best cards possible. Um, now, ever since they added the green and the white code cards, it's been incredibly tough to weigh these packs in store. But you know what? I'm going to try anyways. Uh, I use a scale to weigh the packs. I'm going to calibrate it with this 100 gram weight. That's close enough. And I went to Walmart to buy these 15 packs uh, at a variety of different weights. These are the lightest packs here. They weigh around 31 grams. And the heaviest packs, I think, are around 31.5 grams. Uh, something around there. So we'll start with the lightest packs right now. This pack here weighs 31.05 grams. I'm gonna open up this pack. I want to save the packaging and you know what I'm also going to weigh the booster pack inside so it weighs 22.23 grams and we're going to open this guy up and let's see what we get oh, green code card see this is what I was talking about these green code cards weigh more and they throw off the weights. So this tells me right away, we're not gonna get anything good. So let's just get right to it. Reverse hollow is Krabby and the rare is a non hollow rare, Claydol. Okay, so the first pack was a dud. This pack weighs 31 grams right on the dot. So, okay. That opened up a lot easier. And the booster pack weighs 22.22 grams. I think that's the same amount as the other booster pack we opened up. Oh, we got the white coat card. So let's go slow, but I'm not gonna do the card trick. Smile, Mawa. Uh, Gossifler, Goldeen, Diglett, Reverse, Minchino, and okay, so we got our first hollow rare card. It's only a Cinderace, but I'll take it. Okay, so maybe lighter is better, but we don't have enough data to come up with that conclusion. This pack weighs 31.05 grams. And the individual booster pack weighs 22.26 grams. Ooh, another green code card. So, Pinchurchin, Volpix, Nicket, Baltoy, Jinchao. Reverse Cloister and another Hollow Rare, Oranguru. And then a bunch of other cards that we don't really care about. So, so far we're two for three, but no uh, B cards or any really rare cards yet. This pack weighs 31.05 grams. Now, when I used to weigh these cards, you know, back in the day a couple years ago, um, well, these packs specifically, the lighter ones also always have the better cards in them. So this one weighs 22.30 grams. It's a little bit heavier. We'll open up this pack nicely. And, ooh, a white code card. So we got Diglett, Skorupi, Hootoot, Scorbunny, Pikachu, Reverse Rare Thievul, and another Hollow Rare. Not really what we were looking for, but for four, uh, three for four. So this is the last pack 
uh, that weighs the least. It weighs 31.03 grams. And the actual booster pack weighs 22.31 grams. So similar to the last pack that we opened up. Now let's see what we get. Do you want to spoil it? Ah, oh, a green code card. Okay, let's just get right to it then. Reverse rare. No, it's a reverse uncommon and a lantern. So from the lightest packs that weighed uh, anywhere between 31 grams to 31.05 grams, we got three rares out of the five packs that we opened up. So these packs are a little bit heavier. They weigh 31.1 grams and above, and this pack weighs 31.12 grams. Okay, the individual booster pack weighs 22.42 grams. So this is one of the heavier booster packs. I think it might be the heaviest one we opened up so far. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it this time. Pinchurchin, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchow, Reverse Krogunk, and nothing. Galarian Rapidash. Okay, I'm gonna give away the code card. Of course, it's the green code card. Okay, on to the next pack. This Lapras pack weighs 31.10 grams. Now, one thing you need to watch out for when weighing um, these packs in Walmart is for the security tag. That security tag is placed somewhere over here and it throws off the weight completely. So what I do is I look for it and I exclude it. I don't even bother weighing packs with the security tag in it. Not all of the packs have the security tags in them, maybe like 30% do though. Okay, so this pack weighs 22.42 grams, another heavy one. Okay, green poker. That tells me there's nothing great in here. Reverse Dredna and a Santa Scorch. Okay. So this pack, I think it's a little bit heavier. Yep, 31.17 grams. Okay. The individual booster pack weighs 22.34 grams. Now, let's see what we get without spoiling anything. Oop. And just as I said that, I saw the edge. A Wulu, a Sobble, Pinchurchin, a Blipbuck, a Rhyhorn, a Solandit Reverse, and Nice, a Sableye V. Okay, so this is the first card that we need to sleeve up, and this is a full art. And of course, we have the white code card. So I'm gonna grab a sleeve. And I'm gonna place this Sableye V inside the sleeve. And let's place it over there and move these packs over. So these packs weigh a little bit more. They weigh 31.20 grams. So similar to the pack before, which weighed uh, 31.18 grams. This one weighs 22.40 grams. Let's see what we get. Reverse Mudbray and nothing. A green coat card. Okay, another pack. 
31.22 grams. The booster pack weighs 22.40 grams, so a little bit heavier. Okay, and let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, so we have a hollow Inteleon. So I think this card might be pretty good, so I'm gonna sleeve this guy up. I'm actually going to go back and sleeve up all the other hollow rays that I got as well. So I have one over here. So let's sleeve these guys up. Okay, next pack weighs 31.26 grams, and I know I have two more hollow rares. I'll grab them eventually. 22.45 grams. So this one's a little bit heavier. And we have a green code there. So that tells me it's not even worth going through, just to Durant. Okay, so this pack weighs 31.32 grams. And let's see how much the actual booster pack weighs. 22.45 grams. Okay. So let's go through the cards. Ooh. Okay, so we have a reverse vitality band. And, oh, I thought I saw the edge of something. That was nothing. And we have the Snorlax. I got excited for nothing. A green code card. Okay, let me organize some of the cards here. Okay, and I think that's all the hollow rares that I got. So hopefully in these last couple packs we get some more good cards. Best card we pulled was a Sableye V full art. So these packs here weigh a little bit more. 31.32 grams and above. Okay, 22.48 grams, a heavy pack. Rhyhorn, Pavlopus, Goldine, Roselia, Ghastly, Pavlopus, and okay, nice. We have a Caldeo V. Very nice. It's not the art, just a normal V card. And we have a white coat card which is expected. Now let's sleeve up this Caldeo card. So, so far we aren't doing too bad. We have two more packs to open up. This one is a little bit more, 31.37 grams. And I think this booster pack weighs the exact same amount as the last one, so hopefully we get another V card. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Okay, and the camera cut out there for a second, but we did get something good. I saw it. I saw the edge of a good card. So let's just get right to it instead of doing the card trick. Kafant, Baltoy, Chin Chow, uh, Sizzlepeed. I still don't know the pronunciation of a lot of these newer cards. Okay, we have a Stone Drew. 
VMAX, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I don't think they got a reverse. Oh, never mind. This was the reverse. You could barely tell it. They have new patterns in the set. This card looks awesome. It's textured, very minimal texturing, but it's a beautiful card. It's the Rainbow Rare or Hyper Rare. It looks amazing. Let me sleeve it up. Okay, I think this card made everything worth it. We have one last pack left. This pack weighs 31.46 grams. And the individual booster pack weighs 22.39 grams. Well, let's see if we can get some last pack magic. So I think I'm gonna do the, the card trick. Okay, so we know what the code card is. It's a white one, so we're gonna get something good. Here we guys go. There's the code, and I think it's three from the back. One, two, three. Okay. Road and bike. Drizzile. Eye Sharp. Sawl. Blip Bug. Ball Toy. Lulu. Joltik. Reverse Reboot. And the final card is, we know it's gonna be good. Nice, it's a Wobbuffet V Full Arts. Okay, kind of spoiled it for myself because I saw the edge of it, but this is an amazing card. Okay, so that kind of tells me that the heavier packs have a higher chance of giving you uh, these Full Arts, but it's really unpredictable. Okay, let's recap the pulls. I got a total of four Hollow Rares. This Inteleon Hollow. Cinderace Hollow, Frostmouth Hollow, and Oranguru Hollow, which is pretty good and pretty valuable. And I got a total of four really good cards. This Caldeo V, this Sableye V, Full Art, this Wobbuffet V, Full Art, and the mother load was Stonger V Max, the Dynamax version of Stonger, and it is the Rainbow Rare version. So this is an amazing card, the best one we got. And in total, we got four hits out of the 15 packs we got, which is pretty good, but it's still incredibly hard to weigh uh, the Walmart or Target packs. Um, but it may be something you want to do if you want to get some good cards. Um, so these were some awesome pulls. If you want to watch more of these videos, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Collector Cousin out.